Once again, what up YouTube? Today I'm going to be talking about supplements and in reality supplements aren't anything new to us. We did stop taking them for a while. To be honest, I just couldn't afford them. Um, I got hurt and chiropractor bills were really adding up at three times a week. Now that I'm feeling a lot better and don't need to see the chiropractor as much, we have a little bit more money to spend on things we need and now that I'm training more than ever since my injury uh, my body's really starting to feel it and I thought go back to the supplements and recover faster train harder train smarter and I will be going down the list of what we got the first thing I'm going to talk about is creatine monohydrate it's actually the very first supplement I ever took back in the late 90's I was buying it at GNC and years later after having been on it for all those years, I was looking for a new place to buy it at, hopefully cheaper. And I discovered a very popular website, which I'm sure most of you have heard of, bodybuilding.com. And really discovered the world of supplements. And I started buying this and that, mixing this and that, and got in the best shape of my life, never felt better. And I'm going to kind of go through all the things that I've taken and stopped taking and substituted for. I'm going to just go left to right. So we'll start with the protein powder. We've been getting our protein powder from Costco for many, many years. They've had different brands throughout those years. But for the most part, it's been all good. I did do a fair amount of research on the multivitamin. And after reading thread after thread, review after review, I settled on the animal pack. And I have not been disappointed from the first time I tried it. I was sold. I haven't tried anything else. On the NOA Explode, we have tried a bunch of different stuff. We actually started with the powder form of L-Arginine. And I have to say, we bared with it for a little while. But to best describe it, in my opinion, it tasted like dirty gym socks. If you got them wet and squeeze the water into a glass and drank it that's pretty much what the powder form of L-Arginine tastes like from there I tried a Super Pump 250 and then I went to Universal Nutrition's brand Shock Therapy which was good but it, they're always out of it at the vitamin shop it's a little harder to find it's ended up trying NO Explode and was sold and we've been on the NO Explode ever since. As I mentioned before on the Creatine Monohydrate, I started off with the GNC brand. And when I bought the BCAA and Glutamine from the Now brand, I went ahead and bought the Creatine Monohydrate from them as well. I have no complaints on their brand. I just happened to pick this up at the Vitamin Shop. It's the Body Tech brand, which is their own. And it's all tasteless, so it should be the same thing. I don't see why it would be different. Moving on to the fish oil. We did start with the Carlson's liquid fish oil, which was by far the hardest thing to ever take. And after a few bottles of that, we just had to switch over to fish oil pills. And we're getting them at Costco, soft gels. And the Carlson's was just that hard to take. I know it's probably the best fish oil out there a lot of good reviews but just the fish burps even after you took it, it it was just unbearable so that was it for the Carlson's the vitamin C we're getting at Costco still as well as the vitamin E and Costco used to carry a B50 but they didn't have any so I got the B100's for those of you that don't know, it's the same thing as a B50, but kind of double strength. Thought about breaking the pill in half and taking half at a time. But you usually get that nasty pill taste, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. We'll see. And the only thing new that we're kind of adding is the B12. Before we stopped taking our supplements, I always wanted to try it, but I never got around to it, so... Yesterday when I restocked on 
everything and went ahead and added a B12. Almost forgot, last but not least, I did pick up a couple new shakers. One for me, one for Bear. Mine's in the gun smoke color. Hers is in the neon pink color. And there's something pretty cool about these shakers. And we get this camera on a tripod and I'll show you. So I'm going to show you the pink one because I think it will show up on camera a little bit better. But they're both the same thing. Except for the different style logos. This is a little bit more manly. This is a little bit more girly. It has this hinge cap. Has this mixer insert to mix up powders real good. It comes with one of these to attach to your bottle and then onto your bag. And then you have your main container, which you could have whatever powders you're going to mix in there already, ready to go. And then you also have these two separate containers. One's a little bit bigger than the other. One does have an insert to keep your pill separated. Which is why I think this shaker is better than most out there. It has a couple cool features to it. And it does say, probably won't be able to read it. But there are three compartments to store pills, powder, and more mouth guard, jewelry, keys, oatmeal, nuts or berries which I think are all great ideas definitely recommend getting one I paid $8.99 for each at 24 Hour Fitness so as usual thanks for watching